Can I see Council up here before we begin? Thank you. Good afternoon. Hi. How are you? Good. Can you state your name and spell your last name, please? Abby Norcutt, N-O-R-C-U-T-T. -T. Abby, how old are you? I'm 21. Okay. And are you in school right now? No. I graduated in December. And can you do me a favor? Just pull the microphone right up to your face. Yep. Um, pretend it's not even there. Uh, you graduated uh, when? December. From where? NAU. Okay. And what are you doing now? I am substitute teaching at Kinsey Elementary. All right, good for you. Abby, I'm going to ask you to refer back in your mind to October 9th, 8th to 9th, that evening of 2015. Do you recall that evening? Yes. All right, is that a, a moment that stands out in your mind? Yes. Let me ask you where you were, uh, well, where you were living at that time. I was living in a house in Ponderosa Trails. Okay. Were you attending school? I was. At NAU? Yes. All right. What year in school were you at that point? I was a junior. And at that point, were you also dating uh, one of the witnesses in this case? Yes, Nick Prado. Okay. And how long have you had you been dating at that point? Um, a little under a year. All right. On um, that evening, that particular evening, were you with Nick Prado? Yes. And where were you that evening? <coughs> we were at our friend Nick Acevedo's house at the courtyard on Franklin. Okay, and we've heard testimony about the courtyard before. Um, is it a complex of houses or units? Yes. All right, and which one was Nick Acevedo's unit? Um, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know the number okay. of it. I well, can point it out. Maybe we can bring out some images yeah. in a minute. Um, suffice it to say, it was one of those units in the courtyard. Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. Sorry, we just have to say it out loud. Right. Um, and uh, was there a gathering, a social gathering at that point? Yes. And how many people would you estimate were there? Mm, I'm not quite sure. It was a Thursday, so not a ton, but there was a group of people there, yes. And what time did you arrive? Maybe around 10. That's 11 in the evening? In the evening, yes. Okay. Did you arrive with Nick Prada or was he there? Yes. I'm sorry, that we, was a bad We question. got there together. All right, thank you. Um, were other people there that you recognized that you knew? Yes. Let me ask awesome. you, okay, I'm going to ask a few uh, names and tell me if they were there. Colin Brew, was he there? Yes. Nick Peering? Yes. Is Kyle Zentek? Yes. Uh, Nick Pletke? Yes. Is there another Nick? Uh, Nick Acevedo? Yes. How do you keep all the Nicks straight? <laughs> we call them by their last names. Okay, all right. So, um, and these were friends of yours as well? Yes. Other people were, were there were, that you didn't know, is that true? That I what? That you did not know? Probably, yeah. Okay. I didn't know every single person there, but I knew the majority. Let me ask you, uh, toward, well, during that evening, um, what was happening at this party? What was the atmosphere? Just music playing, people hanging out. Was there drinking? Yes. Um, did you have anything to drink that night? I remember carrying around one bottle of beer all night. Okay, and so did you finish the beer? Y yes, I'm probably. All I right. don't remember exactly, but. So one beer or less that night right. for you? Um, did you notice if Nick Prada was drinking that night? I don't remember watching him, no. Okay. Uh, you weren't paying attention if he was or not? No, I was talking to other people. Um, as that night progressed, did something occur that caught your attention? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. At some point, were you, did you decide to leave that party? Yes, around 1 o'clock. That's 1 a.m. on October 9th? Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, did you leave with, or were you planning to leave with Nick Prado? Yes. All right. Where, where did you go as you were leaving the party? Which direction? Out of the door into the courtyard and to wait. 
Okay. While Nick found us a ride. All right. Waiting for what exactly? A ride home. Um, so you had not, did you drive there with Nick Prado or? I don't remember exactly how we got there. Okay. So someone is going to pick you up, take you and Nick Prado somewhere else? Yes, home. We both lived in that house. All right. Um, as that was happening, um, did you see Nick Prado uh, later on? Let me ask a different way. Did he come back with someone with a, a ride? No. All right. What happened next? I went to see if he had. So I walked towards the parking lot at the courtyard to look for him. And I saw him standing near the street. And so I walked towards him. Okay. And this is Franklin Avenue? Towards Franklin, yes. What was he doing out there? I remember looking up and seeing him and he was just standing there and he was looking towards the parking lot of Mountain View. Okay. And uh, we've seen photos before, the jury's seen these, but Mountain View would be right across the street from Courtyard? Correct. Um, so as you looked at Nick Prado, he, he was looking toward the Mountain View parking lot? Yes. How far away were you from him at that point? I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know exactly. I just remember I was um, on the north side of Franklin in the Courtyard parking lot, and he was... Um, either in the street or on the other side of the street. Okay. Prior to that, did you notice any disturbances at the party? I did not. Um, no fighting or anything happening before that? No. Did you notice any disturbances outside in the street? No, I did not. What happened after you noticed Nick was uh, there on the street or near the street? Um, I started walking towards him, and that's when I heard the first shots go off okay and at the time did you know that these were gunshots i did not what did they sound like to you they sounded like the the fire snap or the firecracker fireworks that you snap on the ground okay did you know where this uh, sound was coming from yeah the parking lot of mountain view i remember looking up wondering what they were doing over there and uh, how many shots do you recall hearing um, around five, I would say. And were they all, sorry, or were they all together, uh, like one after the other, or was there a pause? Pretty much right after each other. All right. Very shortly. What, what did you see happen, or what did you observe after you hearing those shots? People started running across the street, and that's when I started getting worried, so I started running too. Okay, and you say people, how many people were out there in the street area where you were? Um, it's hard to say. It was like people doing the same thing as us, trying to get home, going out to ri rides or walking, and I can't say exactly how many. I just remember there was a handful of people out there. Okay. Um, you said you started running. Where did you run to? Towards the Mountain View parking lot. And why did you decide to run toward the Mountain View parking lot? Just to see what was going on. Um, I wasn't sure what was happening because I couldn't tell that they were shots. I wasn't sure what they were doing, and when people started running, I was getting worried, and so I started running towards them. Okay. Did you see other people running toward that area? Yes. Do you recall today anyone else that was running with you? No. Did you see where Nick Prado went? No. As you ran up, oh, describe the direction you went and, and what you saw. Just from my memory, I just went straight to the parking lot. And the first thing I saw was Nick peering, laying on the ground with blood. When you say to the parking lot, um, we've seen images where there's a sidewalk area going into the Mountain View. You know what I'm talking right. about? Um, did you run up that or into the actual <coughs> parking lot? I believe, I believe into the parking lot. Okay, onto the actual black pavement. <coughs> I'm not sure how far I got. It, that's um, fine yeah and, and Abby we're just looking for your best memory today so yeah. as you ran up there you said you first saw Nick Peering yes um, and where was he when you saw him he was laying on the ground I can't say exactly where okay anything else you observed at that point I could tell there were people around me it was chaotic but I kind of had tunnel vision I could only focus on one thing at a time okay uh, Nick Peering was the first person I went up to. 
how many people do you recall being in that area at that point? I can't say exactly because I didn't look at them. I could just tell there were people around me. You said earlier that Nick Peering, uh, there was blood around him or on him? Yeah, on his shirt. What did you do, if anything, uh, with Nick Peering? Um, he was saying things. He was saying, I got shot, call 911. And so um, I was pretty panicked. I got my phone out and I dialed 911. Okay, while you stood in that area? Yes, I stayed by him. Um, and I said st stood, I don't know if you indicated. Were you standing or crouching or what was happening? Um, I can't remember exactly. I, I know I was standing around him. I don't, I don't remember if I kneeled next to him or not, but I remember standing up, calling 911. All right. Did you see anyone else on the ground at that point? No. Later on, did you? No. Did you see anybody with a weapon of any sort? No. Did you hear what people were saying at that point? Not specifically. All right. What was the emotion like? or the? It was just chaotic noise around me, people moving. I, I don't know exactly because I wasn't looking exactly at them. Were, were people scattered or were they in a clump or <clears throat> describe that area? Um, like I said, I had tunnel vision. I didn't look at the crowd. I didn't look at the people standing next to me. I was focused on Nick Peering and my cell phone. Okay. Uh, once you made that phone call to 911, what happened after that? I remember it being busy, and that confused me. I never expected calling 911 and it getting a busy tone. Um, so I was, I just kept focusing on that, getting through. Did you and, just keep redialing? Um, yeah, I dialed again, and um, around that time is when I heard the shots again. Okay, so uh, you're talking about a second series of shots? Yes. Could you estimate for the jury how much time do you believe passed between those first shots that you heard and the second round of shots? About a minute. And how many shots do you recall hearing in the second round? Um, I'm not sure exactly. I One or two, Okay. I would say. Well, it was less than the first time. Okay, and do you recall uh, how close these shots were compared to the first shots? Very close. Did you see who was shooting? Did you, no. could you tell the direction of the shots, where they no. were coming from? No, I heard them next to me, and I just didn't want to leave Nick peering side, so I kind of ignored it. Okay. Um, after hearing these shots, what happened? After I heard those again, I thought of Nick Prado and um, 911, calling 911 was, was the best I could do for peering at that time. And people were running back across the street towards the courtyard. So I ran back. So I followed. I was running back towards the courtyard yelling for Nick Prado. Okay. And so you're going back the same way essentially you'd come? Yes. At, at, a point, at some point, did you find where Nick Prada was? He had already been back across the street because he was running back towards me, yelling my name too. And that's when I saw him holding his neck, the left side of his neck. And where did you see him exactly? In the middle of the street. And is this Franklin Avenue? Yes. Okay. Was he standing, sitting? What he was, was walking. Yeah, he was one, walking towards me, yelling my name, and we met in the middle of the street. Okay. What happened after that? Um, I think that's right when I got through to 911, because I remember just hanging up the phone, and after that, it gets fuzzy. Okay. I can't remember where I went after that. And why is that? In a certain time. Um, the next thing that I remember is, I don't remember going into Nick Peering and Collins' house in, in the courtyard on the other side, but I do remember walking out of it onto the street to go look for a police officer. Okay, you mentioned it was fuzzy. <coughs> but why is it fuzzy for you? You just... I don't remember anything that has to do with Nick Prado. Basically, between the time I saw him holding his neck and the time that the ambulance showed up and I knew he was going to be okay. Okay. When you saw Nick Prada, you said he was holding his neck. Like this. With his hand? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're demonstrating for the record. Yes. Um, did you see any injury? I could.
couldn't. The first thing I saw was his hand, and then after that, I okay. don't really remember. Um, how long did it take for the police or paramedics to arrive? I'm not sure, um, but I went out. I remember going back and forth to the street to look for someone to come in and help. And did you eventually find somebody to come help? Yes. Um, the first officer I saw pulled up on Franklin Avenue a little bit um, down the street. And I went up to him, and I told him that it, I needed help, and that I needed him to come with me. OK. And where did you go? Where did you take the officer? I remember, him, I remember walking with him back to the house that Nick Prado was in, in Nick Peering and Collins' house. Um, but I don't remember walking in and, or anything. The next thing I remember, um, Nick Prado was had been taken out to the street. He was laying on the street on Franklin, and the ambulance were showing up. OK. And then I did see his neck, yeah. Did you uh, ever, after that, go back <coughs> toward the scene, back where you heard the shots? No. Um, where did you go after the paramedics arrived? Um, I got in the passenger seat of the ambulance and I rode with them to the hospital. Okay. At some point later on, did you speak to the police? I did. Was it that same night or yes, that morning? Yes, it was probably um, an hour or so after we'd gone to the hospital. I'm not sure. Um, it was still late or early in the morning. It was still dark outside and uh, I was in the waiting room waiting to be able to see Nick. Okay. May I have a moment, Judge? Yes. <coughs> Abby, in a minute, we're going to show uh, what's been admitted as 316. Do you recall what Nick Prado was wearing that night? He was wearing a long sleeve white shirt and a um, dark colored hat with Cali written on it and I that's to, to my memory that's what he was wearing okay let me show you what's been admitted as 316 <coughs> Abby do you recognize this area I do what is it that's the courtyard between the apartments okay and you mentioned you were at Nick Acevedo's uh, place. Do you recall where that is in this image? Um, yeah, it's to the right. It's that one. It's the corner one. Okay, and you should have a laser pointer up there. Um, oh. Do you see one? Yes. Can it's you just point out? Right there. Okay. And you mentioned that... Uh, <coughs> That's where the party was at, and then you were waiting for a ride. Where were you when that was right, happening? Right, right, like um, on this side of the fence over here in this area. All right, by in that table? In front of the house. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you went uh, looking for Nick Prado, where, which direction did you go? That way, towards this parking lot right here. I'm going to switch views here. <coughs> where were you standing when you saw Nick Prado? I believe right around here, because I could see that way, okay. around the cars and the trees. All right, and you're gesturing towards Mountain View. Yes. Where was Nick Prado, if you can see in this image? I'm not sure exactly if how close he was to the street, but in this area. All right, maybe we can get a better view. Let me check. Does this help out at all? Yes. So are we now looking at Franklin Avenue? Yes. Do you recall from this uh, view where Nick Prado was? I can't say exactly. I don't remember. OK. Can you indicate where you went after you heard those first shots? I was on the north side of the street, so I ran this way across. And I'm not sure exactly where I stopped over on the other side. Did you at any point uh, see or recognize that Nick Prado was in that area? Nope. No, I didn't. <coughs> I 
And if you could, Abby, um, indicate in this view, if you need a different view, let me know where Nick Peering was when you arrived. It was really dark outside. I can't point exactly out where he was. Okay. Was it in this parking lot that we're in? Yes, it was in this area. And then you indicated that after calling 911, you returned back toward Franklin Avenue. Is that correct? Yes. Can you indicate where you saw Nick Prado holding his neck? Right in the middle of the street, right here. And again, that was after the second round of shots? Yes. Thank you. May I have a moment, Judge? Yes. <coughs> That's all I have. Thank you. Mr. McGowan. <laughs> Which view? Burgess? Uh, I think the view you have is good. Okay. <laughs> good afternoon, Abby. Hi. Try to make this brief for you. In a moment, they're going to put that exhibit back up 316 so we can look at that view. Um, if you can go to the Franklin Street view. That one? Maybe the one up further up. Up here? Yeah. Okay. That that should work. Okay. Uh, I just want to clarify, Abby. I know you don't remember going into the unit, but can you point out for the jury the unit that you came out of? Um, Nick Peering and Collins. That one. That unit. Okay. Um, now, going back... When you went into the Mountain View parking lot, I just want to clarify, aside from seeing Nick Peering, was there anyone else out there that you recognized? I didn't see them. Okay. Now, going forward to when uh, the ambulance arrived, the ambulance took you both to the hospital, right? Yes. And you were in the waiting room? Yes. Okay. Um, there are a number of other uh, individuals that you knew in the waiting room? Yes. Who else was in the waiting room? Nick Plecky was in the waiting room. Um, our, just the whole group of our friends that were there that night. Um, Garrett Snyder was in the waiting room with me. Um, a group of girls that were there that night was in the waiting room with me. Um, most of the people that were there that night, I can't, I can't remember specifically. I just remember seeing those people, but I know there was a bigger group of our friends that were there. Okay. It was full. Do you have an estimate of the number of people? Um, there were maybe th 25, 30 people in the waiting room. Were there police officers in the waiting room? Yes. Were they there continuously? I believe so. They were standing by the emergency room door. Do you know how many officers were there? I think two. <coughs> were either of those two that, that you recall the one that you spoke to later? That I gave a statement to? Correct. No, I don't think that was one of them. Okay, so a different officer showed up to get your statement. Did you get the statement there in the waiting room? No, we went outside. Okay. Smoke. <laughs> Redirect. Just briefly, Abby, we talked about with the council just now a, a group of people at the emergency room, waiting room, um, and you mentioned Nick Plecky, right? Yes. A group of girls, right? Mm -hmm. And some other folks. Yes. Um, 
and you said they were there. What do you mean by there? There, most of the people that were in the ra waiting room had been at um, Nick Acevedo's house that night. Okay, so there being the party or the group, yes. the gathering. Um, do you know if they were at this shooting? No, I don't know. Uh, was there a big discussion about what had happened at that point? No, people were pretty much quiet. Just waiting to see what happened? Yeah, and they were sitting with me because I was very upset. That's all I have, thank you. All right, I'll turn to members of our jury and see if they have any questions for this witness. It does not appear that we do. Can this witness be excused? Yes, John, thank you. Ma'am, thank you for your testimony. Thank Office. you. All right, folks, just some logistics uh, for next week. Um, as I indicated at the very beginning, um, one of these weeks is going to be my duty week, and it is upon me next week. So uh, we will get started at 9 a.m. Um, there are matters that I have to attend to, mostly initial appearances and changes of pleas and things like that that I have to do at 8.30. Um, so please uh, be in your jury room. Uh, by 9 o'clock, we'll get started around 9. All righty. Thank you, folks. Please have a good weekend. Thank you all for your hard work. Please remember the admonition. <clears throat>